Welcome, welcome back, and I need help at C-square. In this example, we're going to move to uh, two circles, circle S, that has a depth given equation in circle R. And they said, describe the transformation from circle S to circle L. In other words, what rigid and non-rigid transformation, we'll see if we have both, uh, suffer circle S to get circle L. For that reason, you're going to need this form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, right? Standard form over c. Okay? And in that circle s, let's take a look. We have x minus 12, so that means h is 12. And we have y plus 3, that means k is, you flip it, right? Negative 3. We're going to do the same thing for circle L, right, for circle L. And if you do the same strategy, if we look at x plus 3, that means h is negative 3, flip the sign. y minus 5, that will be k equals 5. So the question is, how do I go from a circle center at... 12, let me change the color, add 12 and negative 3 to a circle that has the center at negative 3 and 5. You can use common sense, graph triple, see what the movement is, but again we go this way, or you can use an algebra equation, right, negative 3 minus 12, right? Negative 3 minus 12, because we go from here to here. We're going to put this first. Negative 3 minus 12, and this negative 15. And the same story for, for the second guy. We're going to do 5 minus negative 3, that is 8. Okay, so you can use this algebraic method or just use common sense. How do I go from 12 to negative 3? By moving 15 units to the left. How do I go from negative 3 to 5? By moving 8 units up. So basically now we, we have the vector negative 15 and 8. Or you can write this equation x minus 15 y plus 8. This is one transformation. One transformation which is a translation. Another one, if we take a look here, let's go back. This is 9. R squared is 9, so R will be square root of 9. 3, right? Let's do the same thing for circle L. That is 36. R squared is 36, so R will be square root of 36, which is 6. So now look to these guys. How, how do I go from a radius of 3? a radius of 6. What should I multiply by? That is 2. Okay, so we have also a dilation of scale factor of 2. Now the question might be, what is that dilation done, the center of dilation? That center of dilation needs to be done here at the center of the new circle to get the uh, actual circle. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back on Cisco for more help. Thank you.